let's fix this latency with my basic solution in Logic Pro. Check one, Check two. one two. Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, I'm a, hearing lot a lot of latency. latency. Is, there is there anything you can do to, fix, do to it? fix it? First, Logic has a very handy built-in feature called Low Latency Monitoring Mode here in the record menu. This automatically bypasses or optimizes the plugins you have running on the channel while you're recording. This is something that I use in every session, so I like to add it as a shortcut in my toolbar by right-clicking, choose Customize Control Bar and Display, then check Low Latency Monitoring Mode, then press Save as default so every Logic session has this shortcut at the top. Now, let's see if we hear a difference. Check one, two. Perfect. Low latency monitoring mode reduces plugin latency in whatever vocal chain you're using by either bypassing or reducing the CPU load of the plugins in your vocal chain. Plus, it measures the remaining latency caused by all your other plugins on other channels to automatically align your audio recordings using calculated latency totals displayed here in the Logic Audio settings. To get to this window, press the keyboard shortcut Command comma, then navigate to the Audio tab. And while we're here, let's go to our buffer size and choose the lowest number your computer can handle, like 32 or 64. When I'm using my M1 Max MacBook Pro or older, I use 64 or 128. But on my new M4 Max MacBook Pro or M4 Pro Mac Mini, I go to the lowest 32 samples and it runs buttery smooth. Now that our buffer size is reduced, let's do a little snap test to hear our improvement in latency. Now that's a tight sounding headphone mix. The downside of low latency monitoring is that it does bypass any CPU intensive plugins you may have active in your audio track. You'll see my de and sometimes even auto-tune turns orange, indicating that it's temporarily bypassed. Sometimes you can keep auto-tune from bypassing during low latency monitoring mode by opening the plugin and switching from modern to classic mode and also engage use low latency. Now when you enable the orange button, your auto-tune stays active. Logic Pro's stock plugins tend to be a little more compatible with low latency monitoring mode, but now let's ask Kara how the headphone mix sounds now. Check one, two. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. So much better. Our auto-tune compression and EQ are all working, but I want to add a little bit more reverb to this headphone mix. So let's load up the new stock Quantec reverb in Logic and turn down the reverb level and keep the dry signal at full volume. And you can load up any other plugins you need here to be both in your headphone mix and your playback mix. Now that's sounding really nice, and I don't hear any noticeable latency. 